Я принес тебе боль. Я твой кошмар. Я твоя проблема, и ты ее не хочешь. Я принес тебе войну. Я скала, которую ты не сдвинешь. Class veteran video game critic Michael does life. <laughs> oh, Michael. Hi. It's for class. Veteran video game critic Michael does live. And we're getting to ready. We're getting ready to play Atomic Heart. We're so glad that you can join us here today as we play through Atomic Heart and experience what Atomic Heart is all about. Thanks to the beauty of Game Pass. We can experience Atomic Heart right now. So join me. Shall you? Alrighty, folks. <clears throat> we are waiting for... It's over! Gary from the Vault donated $10 through Super Chat. Support for Russia and Atomic Hearts for Giddy. Well, we're going to see if the game is worthwhile. We're going to see if the game is going to float my boat. I am saying don't buy it because, well, it's on Game Pass. That's why I'm saying don't buy it. Not because it's not good. We haven't played it. But I'm saying don't buy it because it's on Game Pass. Why would you want to buy it? I mean, if you have Game Pass, it doesn't make so much sense. Unless you really want it and you want to put it in your collector space. Guy, okay. Gary from the Vault coming through again. Huge shout out to Gary from the Vault. 
And Jason Hall came through earlier, popping the cherry, doing so in a way that makes sense. Let's get a big shout-out to Jason Hall. Jason Hall coming through. Hell yeah, by the way, appreciate that. Jason Hall. Stunning and brave. Member for 22 months. Those are control freaks under Xbox. I don't know what they are, bro. Um, we got these in L.A. We bought Battlefield 2042. Let me find this copy of Battlefield 2042. Actually, I don't know where it went. We got this copy of Battlefield 2042. We bought it for $40 in 2023. Okay, so we got an incredible deal on that game there, Battlefield 2042. And with that, we got the uh, Watch Dogs 2 thumbsticks. I don't know if they're control freaks. I don't... Thumb pads, whatever they're called. I don't know. I don't usually put things on like that. But, um, you know, she said you buy The Last of Us. You buy uh, all of these games. Uh, we'll hook you up. So, uh, we got those thumb pads. Yeah, I, I don't know where the copy of Battlefield went, to be totally fair. I'm not entirely sure where that copy went. Somewhere around here, but I will tell you... <gasps> All right, things are falling, so we're not going to continue looking. But with that said, we are going to jump into Atomic Heart once it is done installing, and it is nearly there. So we're going to see if this is good. This is apparently Bioshock, the Russia version or something. I don't even know what this game is, but we're going to take a look at it. It's on Game Pass right now, so if you want to play it, you can hop onto Game Pass, and with a uh, few tweaks to Game Pass, um, you can play it early. And that's what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be playing this on PC. We're going to be playing this on PC. And hopefully it runs well. At least runs well enough for um, this stream here. And a pretty decent week for uh, releases. I'll tell you that right here and right now. Pretty decent week for releases. We have Sons of the Force coming later this week. And I think the anniversary for Elden Ring. It's been one year since Elden Ring released, or it will be in a few days, so we might jump back into Elden Ring for an anniversary stream. That could be fun, that could be interesting, but right now we're waiting for Atomic Heart to finish its installation process, and it should be done shortly here. Hopefully it runs decent enough, because we do not have it downloaded on the Xbox. So we're going to check out this PC performance here. And of course, with that said, folks, to keep us awake here, if this game is a snooze fest, it might not be. But I don't like Bioshock. I think Bioshock is a total snooze because it's a shooting gallery game. And I'm hoping that this is a little bit more interesting than that. We're hoping that this is a little bit more interesting than that. You know, last night I actually just installed Ass Effect Andromeda because I got Game Pass for Atomic Heart for a dollar for the entire month. And I'm like, okay. So, <clears throat> I reinstalled Mass Effect Andromeda, and I think it's time for the Mass Effect fans to apologize. That game looks fucking good. <laughs> I mean, considering it's half a decade old, came out in 2017, it's 2023, Mass Effect Andromeda graphically looks pretty fucking dope. And um, from what I played, um, I'm actually compelled to play a little bit more, so we might have to eventually check that out mass effect andromeda but we just launched it last night just to see if it was as bad as the internet said it was and i'm not seeing that um in fact i think it's probably the best mass effect game that i played i played one total garbage played two for 10 minutes turned it off never played three the combat in those games was never good it's now finally good in mass effect andromeda and the graphics are finally good so it seems like a winning combo so we'll take we'll we'll take a look at Ass Effect Andromeda down the road, but for the remainder of this week we got Elden Ring Anniversary Stream more than likely, and Sons of the Forest. So those are going to be big, and of course Atomic Heart. If this you know if 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 this is good and we want to play more, we'll play more. But um, we are waiting for it to install. If you're just tuning in and waiting for me to launch the game, it is it is literally installing. Okay. And we're waiting for that installation process to uh, finish. It's not—it's done downloading, but we have to install it or some shit. I don't know how this works, but it should be launching here fairly soon. Hopefully it runs okay. 
We have a 3060 Ti, so it should be able to run at least 1080-60. That's all I'm looking for in my PC gaming experience. I'm not looking for 1440p. I'm not looking for 2K, 4K. I'm looking for 1080p, 60, locked at 60. That's it. That's all I'm looking for, 1080-60. And if the game can deliver on high ultra settings, 1080-60, that's all I'm looking for. I don't need 1440p. I don't need 2K, 4K resolutions. I All I, you know, I'm looking for is 1080-60 on high ultra settings with vsync turned on that's all i'm looking for and usually with vsync turned on it caps it at 60 so that, that's all i need so if if this game can accomplish that on pc i don't know how the performance is then it will be a w in my book so uh, we will see but we are streaming on top of it so it is taking up a bit of resource we'll see how it ultimately plays out that i know that i can tell you atomic heart we're installing it right now folks at home you can play it on game pass right now like i said game pass pc or game pass console you could actually play it right now you don't have to wait if you know the trick atomic heart downloading we are 60 gigs in it's 75 gigs it's over. someone's coming through again hell yeah brother we appreciate that Gary from the vault donated $10 Let's get it. Super Chat. Shill Up gave the game a three tenths. It's nominated for the easy dub. Well, Shill Up also said Cyberpunk was great, and Shill Up refused to review Hogwarts Legacy due to the backlash surrounding that title, which I'm kind of curious as to why this one wasn't skipped, but um, it is what it is. You know, I actually inquired about a review code for this game, and of course we didn't get one. But that's okay because we can play it on Game Pass right here and uh, shortly here soon. Gary from the Vault coming through. Hell yeah, brother. We appreciate that. Gary from the Vault. And it is uh, working its magic here. So once we get started, hopefully, um, well, we'll see what this is all about. But I'm hoping for a little bit more than just Bioshock and sort of a Russia theme or something. I, I don't know what this game is. But we'll figure it out here shortly. You fight robots, I think, in the game, and it's you're in Russia or something. I don't know. I mean, it could be cool. It could be game of the year. I don't know. But I'm saying don't buy it because it's on Game Pass. That's why I'm saying don't buy it because it's on Game Pass. So, I mean, look, if it's trash, I'm going to say don't buy it or don't play it at all. But the fact that it's on Game Pass, we're going to cut it some slack to begin with because it's on fucking Game Pass. <laughs> you know? But if you're on PlayStation, you don't get Game Pass, of course. So you, if you don't have an Xbox and you want to play this on PlayStation, you got to go and buy it for, what, 60, 70 bucks. That is a little bit, that's a bit of a different... But if you are on uh, PC, Xbox Game Pass is the uh, is the way. So I signed up for a dollar, and I'll re-sign back up when they have content on Game Pass. <laughs> Which, um, whatever that will be. So... Okay, we're going to ban some people here. I mean, time them out. Alrighty, 68 gigabytes out of 50, 75, so we have a, it's, it's still installing, guys, okay? It's not downloading, obviously, because it wouldn't be that fast, but um, had I known it was, I forgot on Xbox you can pre-install before the damn thing even so we should have pre-installed last night, but I wasn't. Um, I was. I was busy installing Mass Effect Andromeda, and uh, I, I think the internet is wrong about that game. I think the internet might be wrong about that game. I mean, visually, that game is pretty fucking good and holds up pretty well. But who knows? I mean, maybe if I play more of it, it turns into slop. I'm not entirely it's sure. Over. Gary for our uh, Samurai Gaming. Samurai Gaming. What's Samurai Gaming have to say here? Huh. Samurai Gaming donated five dollars to Super Chat. Wrong. This game is good. The gameplay is great, and I've been waiting for six years for this game. Let's go, baby. Six years. They've been making this slop for six years. Huh. Really. Well, we're gonna jump in and figure it out here. I mean, it might be good. It it, it might actually be that damn good. I don't know. Samurai Gaming coming through. Uh, the only reason why I said don't buy it is because it's on Game Pass. That's the reason why I said don't buy it. But that could change. Don't buy it in the fact, in the sense that like this game sucks. Okay, we're gonna find it here shortly. It's 72 gigs in. 
out of 75. So hopefully it doesn't crash the computer, but we'll figure this out here once it's done. And hopefully the intro to this game is not four hours long of just garbage segments of tutorial, slow burn crap. You know, I, I need a game where we can jump in and it just like starts, you know, and very few games actually do that. Actually, no games really do that except for uh, Limbo. Limbo, you jump right into the game or inside, play dead. Every other game these days takes about 20 hours to get moving and going. <clears throat> All right. It is nearly there. And it is it is sinking data. Okay, so the uh, it is launching game. It's launching the game right now. It's launching the game right now. We're going to see what happens here. Hopefully everything works smoothly. It's launching the game right now. That's what it's telling me. Uh, but the game has yet to launch. And hopefully this is going to be loud. I guarantee this is going to be loud as shit. Open volume mixer. Let's get that opened up here. Yep. We're going to turn that down. Boom. All right. Okay, the game is launched. And yeah, we got to see if this even... We'll see what's going on here. I'm going to get it up on the screen once we're ready. Okay, we got audio for you guys. We're going to jump over here shortly in a minute. I gotta make sure everything's good. Wow. A lot of text on my screen here. Holy fucking shit. There's literally paragraphs and paragraph. Does it just jump you in? Oh no. Shaders are being installed to optimize performance. We love PC gaming. All right. Well, we're just we're just gonna. I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing here, and I figured we'd have to do more waiting here. Okay, let's see if we can do this in a way that makes sense. Tommy Cart. Okay, and it is working. It is up on the screen for you guys. Okay, we are installing the shaders, <laughs> and I'm not liking that cursor on the menu. There it looks pretty choppy. But it is installing shaders, so let's just... Okay, it's a little bit better now. All right. And we're going to see how this game ultimately... What it brings to the table here. Atomic Art. Finally a new game. It's been, what, a week and a half since Hogwarts? That, was just, that died out so quick. I mean, Hogwarts died quick, dude. Honestly, a lot quicker than I anticipated. Hogwarts fell off pretty bad. And they came out and they said they're not making DLC for it. So why does the game have... I mean, unless they're trolling or whatever, but why does the game have an additional content option on the menu? If they're not making DLC, then why, why is that even there? <laughs> so... Alright, we're waiting for that to install shaders so we can get the performance to where it needs to be. And look what we have here. Trolly! We have trolley. Okay. And yeah, we're starving, I tell you. We're starving out here. Look, if the game's great, I'll say it's great. Okay. The only reason why I said don't buy is because it's on Game Pass. I don't buy Game Pass games. I mean, Starfield might be the exception. And look, if this game's really that damn fucking good... Okay, we'll go out and buy it on PS5. Because that's where I'd like to play. On PS5. It does my preferred console of choice, PS5. Nothing against Series X, but uh, you know, I just, you know, that's why I have Hogwarts Legacy still wrapped in, in, in PS5 right here. I got Hogwarts Legacy on PS5 still in the shrink wrap. Because, you know, I'm going to play this for real uh, one of these days and experience it on the definitive platform. <laughs> I mean, Xbox is great. We love Game Pass, but if they didn't have Game Pass, I don't know. If they didn't have Game Pass, I'm just not entirely sure. It's not entirely sure. But Game Pass is incredible. PlayStation doesn't have that, and that sucks, because I wouldn't play this game if it weren't on Game Pass. If they didn't give me a review code, which they didn't, uh, at least not yet, um, 
then I probably wouldn't go out and get this for 60-70. I mean, that's a little ridiculous. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see here shortly once it's done installing the shaders. Soundtrack sounds pretty sick, though. I ain't gonna lie. Soundtrack sounds pretty sick. All right. It is nearly done here. Let's jump back in and see if it's truly ready here. <coughs> and I gotta adjust. Wow. I like this. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I gotta put this. Should we? No, we can play it window mode. Let's see what we're looking at here in terms of um, FPS cap. Let's just put it on 60. I don't, I don't have 144 hertz. Uh, quality. We're on, we're on atomic. I don't know what that means, but everything's on max. Okay, so we're gonna test this out. I'm liking this menu though. It's got some soul. Samurai gaming donated five dollars through super chat. It's a world class trap to destroy my fantasy, my sexy Soviet robot. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm yeah. I, I've seen the hot, the hot robots in this game, and I'll tell you what, that might make it game of the year. All right, is V-Sync on? V-Sync's off. How do you turn V-Sync on? Borderless window, probably. You can't do borderless window? How do I turn V-Sync on? I need V-Sync on. Oh, you gotta turn this off, probably. Huh. Well, there's no V-Sync on this game. I don't want screen tearing. I don't know how gamers play like that. Everyone turns V-Sync off and it's like, I can't play like that. If the, if the screen is literally tearing, I can't. I might as well turn the game off. It's trash. All right, well, apply these settings. I mean, we didn't change anything. Actually, we did. Boom. I mean, it shouldn't screen tear. We'll see. It's on ultra settings or max settings or whatever. So, new game. Very great. Oh, it's it's looking bad. How do we turn V-Sync on? Full screen. Apply. Hold on. Hopefully this doesn't fuck things up. No, it didn't change anything. Windowed full screen. Apply. How do you turn V-Sync on? We're not going to go dig around in the fucking NVIDIA control panel because it's it's it has nothing to do with it. Whatever, dude. If it's screen tears, it is what it is because I'm not going to go fucking fiddle over. This is why I don't like PC gaming. <laughs> it, it's, just a not, it's just a constant fucking chore. Well, this game does have soul. This game does have soul. Look at this. Okay, so this is easy, medium, hard. Well, when I when I play games on easy, um, a lot of people don't like that. But uh, we are pleased to welcome you to an easy sightseeing tour of the facility. Three eight two six, comrade, spectator, and di dynamic battles with robots it won't take too much effort. Well, we like that. Um, do you like to overcome difficulties? That's admirable. We'll leave you to it. There's no walk in the park. Some combat situations may seem difficult, and objectives will require know-how. Well, I mean, we might have to go on easy, because easy sounds like our experience that we're clamoring for. Do you have a vivid imagination and dark thoughts? This has a lot of soul already. I'm liking this. You don't see this a lot in games. With the cartoons and stuff like that, there's some soul here. And um, this could be based. Um, what do we want to do? If we're going to have a complaint fest in the chat, I'll put it on normal. But I'm going to tell you what. It ain't going to be easy on normal. Not for me. Let's hit that like button, guys. Jeez, only 60 likes. 200 people in here. 270 people in here. Guys, what are we doing? Easy, normal, hard. 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 We're here with Atomic Hard on PC. Yeah, we are. We'll see how this game performs. I heard it, it, it performs great. I heard it performs... Hello, man. That chat's fucking moving. Holy shit. Um, guys, 
We're not going to spend all day trying to figure this out. Easy, normal, hard. I mean, I'm not putting it on hard, obviously. So easy or normal? Says you like to overcome difficulties. This is no walk in the park. No, I'm putting it on easy. I mean, that description makes it sound like it's a little bit above average in terms of normal. I'm putting it on easy. We can probably switch it. We can always switch it, okay? If it's too easy, which it ain't going to be too easy on easy for me. But with that said, we can always switch it probably. So, boom. We're going in. We're going in on easy. Cry. All right. Hopefully the performance is good enough. We'll see here. I have no idea what this game is. I really don't. I mean, I guess there's like sexy robots in it or some shit like that. We'll see how the cookie crumbles here. We'll see how the cookie crumbles here, folks, at home. It is taking an awfully long time to load. She told us she loves. Did it crash? Oh, you got to hit continue. I don't like that. Should have jumped in. But whatever. Oh, this game looks... That's not 60. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Mechanically. It's Hold on, how's the audio? Whoa, we got... Dude... It's at 24 frames. Well, I, I, l l l l look, look here, listen, look here, listen, look here, listen. Don't be spoiling shit. Damn. I mean, I don't even care about the story, but for those that do, I mean, come on. Damn. Is this open world? I mean, it could be good. This this could be a day one purchase. Fuck Game Pass. Are we in Russia? Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Hey, it's um, it's it's um. I'm gonna have to lower the settings a little bit here. I mean, it's running, but this is not at sixty. I can tell. Maybe it is. Maybe it's getting better. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. It's Portal. Or Fallout 4. It's Fallout 4. Yeah, I noticed. Wow, what a beautiful day. Oh, let me guess. Something happens. Really? This is this is the trope they're going to go with? A beautiful day, all of a sudden, disaster strikes. Really? God damn, dude. They should let you explore this. Oh, there's a pig. There's a fucking pig. Yep, disaster's gonna... A big fucking... Sh big spaceship's gonna come in or something. What the fuck? Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. I'm waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Hello? Skip. I mean, we don't need all that exposition. Let's go. I mean, I don't even understand the plot of the Dark Knight, so, I mean, you think I'm going to understand any of this? Dark Knight's pretty sophisticated. Shit, there's a lot going on here. Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions. For once. You dickhead.
Guys, I'm seeing screen tearing. I tried to turn on VSync and it's not. It's not letting me do it. Sad. What is this? A bathroom? Oh, the screen tearing's atrocious. Dude, how come you can't turn on VSync, bro? It won't let me turn it on. Whatever, dude. Hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice coordination. Did you just praise a robot? Oh my god, I'm stuck. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. You should really see this. She'd love it. Another museum game. <laughs> There's no way, dude. Sailor or astronomer with a thought device? You can train for any profession in no time. Can you see your feet? No. Yeah, you can. FOV is weird, though. It's like closed in. Guys, one in the chat if you think this is going to get gooder. It's a snooze already. Is this like Fallout or something? I don't... It's got like Fallout vibes. Hello? Hello? Bro, OBS crashed? What the fuck? Hello? OBS crashed. I thought the game crashed. Huh. We should be back. Let me know if we're back. What is going on? Damn, that chat's fucking moving. You guys are moving the chat. I've seen that in a long time. All right. The game... Actually, the game crashed, I think. Yeah, the game crashed. Trash. We should have installed this on Xbox, dude. God damn it. This is why I don't do PC gaming. It's just a constant... It's garbage. Let's lower the settings on that. It's probably too high. Um, Wow. Well, the game, yeah, the game did crash. So did OBS. So maybe you probably have to have like 32 gigs of RAM. I only got 16. These days you got to have like 32 gigs of RAM. Anyone saying you need 16 doesn't know what they're talking about. Not to future-proof anything. Well, you can always add more, but shit. All right, we got to play it again. We gotta the application crashed, so let me just lower the settings. It's probably just sucking up everything. It's on atomic settings. I don't. I'm assuming that's ultra. And we weren't even into the combat. Should have just played this on Series X. But um, it's just a little more convenient to um, play here on a PC. Alright, we're going to relaunch this here. Hmm. We're going to relaunch this here. We're going to lower the setting. I, I wish we could turn VSync on so it wouldn't screen tear. That shit's annoying as hell, dude. But it's not letting me do it, so... Literally a hundred paragraphs on my screen. In every language possible. You guys are not listening. Alright, while we wait for that to boot. Trolley! It's time to consume. Let's lower the settings. It's probably just too high. Probably got a VRAM or something. Quality. Let's put it on... Oh, Lord, yeah. It was on ultra high. That's stupid. You probably can't even see a difference. There we go. It should be a lot better now. Probably not, but we'll see. All right. We low it was on literally ultra high because there was an ultra setting. We went down to high. We don't need it on ultra. It looked like shit anyway. <laughs> I mean, it looked good, but console good. It wasn't like fucking Crisis 2007 good. These are all... Mm. Wow. Does it run better? Hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice quote. Is it working? Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. We love the screen tearing. It's amazing. I wonder if it fixed itself. Yeah, I can't do V-Sync. That's baloney. Maybe because we have it at 60? Nope. 
It's a museum game. Look at the water. The water's glass. Bro, look at the water, bro. The water's glass. I mean, you can barely see any ripples in the water. Holy shit. Horrible. This is like Bioshock. It's so fucking linear. There's literally no one in there. There's, there's literally no one in there, bro. It's rude to eavesdrop on other people's conversations, comrade major. You're one to talk. Is it working? Hey. All right, we've seen enough. Let's just Yeah, it's like BioShock. Style over substance, I'm assuming. That's the problem with BioShock. It's just shooting gallery, cool art, cool stuff, style. Fuck this shit. Is this on PS4? Is it going to loop? Get ready for your group photo, comrades. Come on, guys. Don't be shy. There's room. Uh, can we get the atom in the picture, too? And the too? statue as well. Uh, everything up to there should be in the picture. It'll look great. Here's an idea. I'm a lady from the future, and you're my soldier. Man. Yeah, like this. Say cheese. Let's take another one. Any ideas? Yeah. You and Anatoly stand like the worker and the pole horse woman. And you? I'll be the cosmonaut, so keep still. It's beautiful. Say cheese! Can I move now? Thank you, sir. Come on, let's see the picture. Come on, come on. Can you show me? Oh my god, it's Luby. Uh, I think I blinked. Let's see. Ah, uh, no, I blinked. Did you really have to make that face? Let's do it one more time. It's looping. Oh my god, I'm done with this game. It's a fake world. They might as well have it at the end where it's like, it's like the Truman Show. It's revealed that this was all just a movie that they were filming. Like Manhunt. Holy shit. Holy shit. Dude. I bet that never ends either. Oh my god, this is so... The screen tearing is abysmal, dude. I can't turn V-Sync on. Sad. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. It's like a fallout. What, what, what happens? You go in the facility and then something bad happens and then you come out and it's like a, it's like a post-apocalyptic world now. I mean, I'm going to turn this game off if that's what's happening. If we go in here, 
And when we come back out and it's post-apocalyptic, that is so fucking... I mean, think of a new idea, dude. There's like a Fallout 4 ripoff. I mean, visually, there's a lot. There's a lot going on. I'll give it that. There's a lot of shit happening here on the screen. A lot to look at. I mean, look, it's a Game Pass game, right? Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sectionoff's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. Oh, my God. A personal project of Dr. Sectionoff's poly education. Gone are the days. Wow, that screen tearing. Holy shit. It won't let me turn V-Sync on. So. Where do we go? Oh. <laughs> I mean, if you like Bioshock and Fallout, I mean, it's kind of like same game. More so Bioshock. Lip smack ASMR. I'm hungry, bro. What you want me to do? Our game hasn't even started. We gotta skip this shit. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Let's go. Oh my god. What's LA LAT? What's that, bud? What's LAT? To activate the scanner, hold left alt. Oh. Demon, oh lord, it's this type of game. Come on, dude. Cringe. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. <laughs> <sighs> Dude, this is gonna. Oh my god, the most predictable game you could ever make. Leave the lab, finally. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to. Holy shit. Dude. How many NPCs are on the screen right now? Holy shit. Hold on. They're going to reappear. Oh, hell no. Well, maybe they hide it pretty well. Yeah, it's infinite loop. What the fuck? It's Andrew Ryan. What is this game, dude? Imagine the mods for this. Huh. Finally, we will be 
free to forget the difficult, tedious... Is this on PS4? I gotta know. Atomic Heart. Is this on PS4? Atomic Heart. It is. Yikes. Good luck on... I mean, this is gonna run at 720p 30 frames. Can we... Bro, what is this game? There's a million people. There's literally. Holy shit. Damn. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Oh, we're going down into Rapture? Uh. Oh my god. Come on, dude. What do we do? Hello? Oh, we're in the Soviet Union. Cool loading screen. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot serve other than electronic <laughs> love <laughs> that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. Game of the year. How do you get through? Hold on. This is what you. Oh, oh my god. How do you get through? Oh, you can't. Yikes. Go back down the loading screen? There's no way. Damn, this is game of the year, bro. Look at this. This is game of the year. Guys are not listening. How do you go down? Uh, yeah, this is a hard game. No, I'm glad we put it on easy. We're not even in the game, and it's there's no checkpoint on the screen. Get in the turbine. What's the turbine, dude? I think we broke the game. We've literally broke the game. Guys, we've broke the game. Is this the turbine? What the f oh my god, it's trash. Off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, 
What do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Bro, just screen tearing. Fantasy and science go hand in hand. It's over! Described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel. Mr. OYL donated four dollars and ninety-nine cents through Super Chat. What in the iRobot is going on here? Can't imagine that Shield's giving us a perfect square environment. It looks beautiful, though it's over. Well, look, if they like it, I'm going to play Contrarian. I mean, you know, it's that simple. But I think I think a lot of people like it, so we got to play Contrarian. I mean, look, it's a Game Pass game. I don't... It's a, it's a fucking Game Pass game. What do you want me to say? It's, it's on Game Pass for a reason. But let's take it one step at a time. Gary from the vault donated $10 through Super Chat. This game is awful, it's the best game ever, but it's so bad I'm skipping it. This sucks, I was expecting it to be good. And I must have created this story. Sad troll story. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. You can't even run. The fuck? Well, this is just like every game. Something's gonna happen here, and then the robots infiltrate the world or something. Can we actually, if we can actually drive this, that'd be great. But it's gonna be a cutscene simulator. We've got an achievement. Can we really drive this? There ain't no fucking way, bro. your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. This is the new Bioshock. This is what Bioshock would have been. I mean, if it released in 2023, it would have been on Game Pass. Day Isn't one, Bioshock. Radio in here? And that's where it belongs. It's junk. The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, parades just came from in every get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic oh, workers from the Soviet Union. We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. How about some music? That's more like it. It is, it, it, it's like Bioshock Infinite, bro. Oh my god. Bioshock Infinite. Did the parade disappear? There's no way. The parade disappeared. The parade is gone. Dude, everything disappeared. Yikes. Why not have clouds to cover that? I mean... So, wait, what the hell? What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. What is this game, dude? So there's like different worlds? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Guys, it's a Game Pass game. Why the hell are we riding Shit, a floppy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3026 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like... Flying pigs. Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Holy shit, it's a movie. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now, well, this is like Bioshock, ain't it? Apologies. <sighs> Snooze fest.
Marvel humor. Oh, well, I mean, look at this loading screen here. This is ridiculous. We've been in the air for like ten minutes. Netflix presents Stranger Things Season 6. What are we looking at? Wow, the loading screen. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Damn! Estimated time of arrival. You can't. No, that's not. There's no way it's this big. That's bullshit. Hey, no way. The, is the map really this fucking big? That's a load. That's a load of bullshit. Oh hell no! We gotta climb towers. What is this game? These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev. Oh rain. man. This technology was pioneered by the Chelame Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky. That screen tearing is amazing. The operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly. Is it open world or is it linear? Required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plan such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Uh, I've, I've been looking at this cutscene for about... It's going to be about five minutes long, literally, at this point. Probably, if not longer. Like, we get it. Yeah, cool world. I don't know. <laughs> wow, it's... You do nothing the game. Is Dr. Sechenov's computational center. The main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. Dude. We are oh yeah, this is all cool looking, but... Flower solar farms, ...capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. Oh, jeez. Could have got a sandwich. We are now flying the Could have made lunch. The way this fucking cutscene goes. It's longer than the last. It's longer than. It's like a K Kojima game. And are now entering the grounds of the. It's over! It's a Kojima game, bro. Well, I mean, it is on Game Pass. I gotta cut some slack. But PS5 owners, PS4 owners aren't gonna be able to play this on Game Pass, so they gotta go out and buy this for 60 bucks. I don't know about that. This is why Game Pass is the future. Oh my god, it's a never-ending cut. This is bad. Like, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Let's go. Start the game. Oh my god, are you fucking serious, dude? It was like Call of Duty. Your helicopter crashes and then it cuts to black. If it cuts to black, I'm, I'm so done with this game. Might as well have. Oh my god. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this. I'm not playing the game. It's a movie. It's a fucking movie game, dude. Fuck's this shit. Continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling. 
and take us by air to Son of a bitch, not again. It's over! You don't play this game. God damn. Quick cast the eye QZ donated four dollars and ninety-nine cents through Super Chat. I wouldn't even get this with Game Pass. It's a waste of storage space. Well, so far it's a snooze. Oh my god, that was the intro. Okay. Like, let's get into the game. Fuck. In a world. Can we skip? Nope. Amazing. Is this open world? Is this an RPG? Is this linear? I mean, I don't, I don't know what we're looking at here. But so far, I'm, it's just news. But we're just getting started now, so pretty much. We're just now getting into the game, I guess. So That was just the intro. Loading screen stuff. <laughs> Set up. Yeah, good graphics, I guess. Minus the screen tearing. Third person? Oh no. Ooh, the frame rate. Frame rate has taken a hit here. Maybe it's a screen tearing. Can we play this game or not? We're gonna here's the real test. Here's Johnny. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Oh lord, this is like every other game. Get off the scanner. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Okay. Okay, surprising. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor. Who hacked into collectors. Mr. Royal donated four dollars and ninety-nine cents through Super Chat. You can't see this is secretly a movie game. Yikes, this game doesn't look at understanding. I'm already confused. Wheelchair symbol. Wheelchair symbol. Wheelchair symbol. Wheelchair symbol. You can't spread. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Oh wow. Uh, you know, I was expecting nothing to happen. I mean, the graphics are like PS1 graphics, but shit. Sure. Oh my god. I mean, I really didn't expect that. Huh. Wow. I didn't think I didn't think that was gonna be interactable. Can we cut the glass? No. Oh the screen tearing is a tro No. <gasps> Bacon. No. So there are physics. God damn it. What the fuck? How do you, um, to dodge attacks, press L shift while moving? Okay. Is 
literally PS1 graphics. Hey, glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Patrol is the lead engineer for the Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service. Oh my god. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground level. Let's go. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Oh my god, there's like. Hey, you. I'm coming. You alive in there? I'm <gasps> Jump scare. Cringe. Shit, uh, get away from me. Uh, go fuck yourself. Looking at, almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Grandma saved the day. What is this? Oh, careful. This place is a damn mad house. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, it's a movie game, dude. Who are you? Me, Zena, Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the road... <sighs> anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is... dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? Okay. That's where I'm headed. Ah. Uh. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit, it's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass. 30 seconds until what? Bro, this frame rate. Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Okay. Eat shit and die. You get that thing. No Give it to way. Him. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Holy shit! Another movie. Um, okay. What a goddamn clusterfuck. Oh, jeez. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? Oh, Lord, it's got the... Petrov's Holy shit. Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how do you end up here? After the trial, oh, Petrov Lord. was to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, 
And that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Victor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences. Oh, this game's boring. Right. Uh. Just cutscene, 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 cutscene. Safe areas. Busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more <gasps> attacks. They're no, no, no. powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shit, I'm a shingle. Why didn't you tell me that before? Oh, here we go. Oh, at this rate, I won't last long. That first pot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called neuro. Collect resources. Extract the neuromed capsule and use it to heal. Cool, yourself. nice and easy. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find. Yeah, we get it, loot. Wait, hold on, can you can you remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalokov backpack? For storing items and equipment, it utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Oh my god. Oh, it's just like Bioshock. Wait, what? How do you rotate? How do you rotate? What the fuck's this, dude? Oh, I, I should be using a controller. What am I thinking? No. Hey, glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. Whatever. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor was. Oh, jeez. Working alone, he was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. How do you? Uh... Oh, 
Oh my god, we're crawling through vents. The... How do you dodge on controller? Oh man. Oh, Jesus Christ. How do you dodge on controller? Horrible. It's a snooze fest. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner... Whatever, dude. Like, I just don't care. The game crashed again. The game crashed again. <laughs> okay. Game crashed again. I I mean, must be out of RAM. I don't know. The fuck, dude. Oh, runs like that's why you don't do PC gaming. It's just junk. Unreliable trash. I gotta relaunch it. Sad. Probably running out of RAM. I'm not kidding. Well, we're trying to get it back working here. It says we're signing in. I don't know why it's taking this long. Probably just going to close the Xbox app. Should have downloaded it on console. Should have downloaded it on console. Never play PC. Um, it's just junk. <clears throat> Play. <sighs> we might have to download it on console if it doesn't launch. Hmm. Signing in. <sighs> Maybe the um. Hmm. Wow. It just says signing in. Clearly I'm online, so... Close it again and restart. I don't know. Top of my card play. Signing in. Huh. <laughs> Well, I guess I guess we can't play it again, I don't know. 
It's not working. It just says signing in, bro. I don't I don't know what's going on. Sad. Coming soon. Play. Let me see if something got f changed. We were playing it through the New Zealand thing. That's how we're playing it early. Yeah, I don't know. Close the Xbox app. Reopen it. It's probably not going to work. I don't know. Just got to download it on console. Yikes. Play. It's not even launching now. What the fuck? EA. Why is EA opening? This is not EA. The EA app is running. What the fuck? Fucking virus, dude. Horrible. Close your game first. Oh, now it's working. Something launched. Alice in Wonderland. What in the fuck? I did not click on that, bro. Uh, Alice Madness Returns or something. They said that was good. So I downloaded. Um, trying to get back into the game here. Why is it opening up? It's it's literally opening up the wrong game. Oh, this is so fucked up, dude. What the fuck? Why is it opening up an E8? Oh. <laughs> Clicked on the wrong game. Alright, well, I clicked on Atomic Heart. It's still... Oh, here we go. It says loading game now. That's, a, that's better than signing in. Launching game. Okay, it looks like we're going to get back into it here. Jesus fucking Christ. Looks like we're going to get back into it here. Looks like we're going to get back into it here. Maybe. Yeah, we're back into it. Alright, I don't know what that was all about, but whatever, dude. Game crashes. It's been crashing. Crashed twice now, so. But we are back into it. Oh, Lord. Too many cutscenes, dude. I mean, it's just Jesus Christ. Like, I understand you gotta hold the player's hand for a little bit, but and introduce the mechanics and tutorial and shit, but like, this shit is... Like, let's just go. It's probably gonna crash again, too. It's just... We might not have enough RAM. I don't know. I only got 16, so... 16 gigs of RAM. These days, you might need a little more. All right, well, it's loading. Here we go. We're back into it. Oh, Lord, it takes you where you saved. All we got to do is this all again. News. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robots' more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by really, we're out of ammo. Are especially dangerous and may knock you down. On a shingle. Why didn't you tell me that before? Oh, this dialogue's cringe. Whatever, dude.
we've already seen the core game. A whole, the whole game has been revealed here. That's the whole game. There's no reason to play 25 hours more of it. No working mirrors. Someone's in the bathroom. Where did it crash? Right here? Damn it. Why is everything locked here? No, right over here it crashed. As soon as the robots began attacking. Quit talking, like as holy as shit. Is this is where it crashed. Something's wrong. Oh shit! Well, it might have crashed again. Oh my god. Oh, a flashback. Dr. Blitz donated $4.99 uh, through Super Chat. Is it good? I need your help. Spend over $100 on this piece of slot. Ain't hey, no way you spent 100 bucks on this. Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. It's a movie game, dude. Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. 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 Oh, jeez. Like there's no game. What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out, Larissa. Cool. Terminated. Charles, where does the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a What's that freaky thing on the door. Oh, jeez. Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless. Stop talking. This is worse than high on life. What? I don't get it. It's over. I'm just hitting A. Mr. Riddle YL donated four dollars and ninety-nine cents through Super Chat. These damn fucking robots ruining my lunch, Mac. Well, they took my pizza, and now I have to sit through a cutscene. It's over. Seems like a linear game. Listen to the music. on the other side of the door. That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. God damn it. Another cutscene. Like, go, dude. Pl let's play the game. Don't let her bind your arms. Can't you see I'm trying? Open the 
suggestions. Bring me to his sensor manipulator. Quick. How titillating. Oh, Lord. Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute. Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer. I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything from my master? What can I do for you? <sighs> Falling asleep, dude. Oh, God. Wow, this is a Ubisoft game. I suggest exchanging this dose with lovely. I don't, I literally don't care. You don't mind, do you? Like. Crafting. Oh my dude, it's like a parody of a game. Oh god. Why does every game need this? I've seen it. Literally. This is junk. Oh my god, it's menus within menus within men. Whatever, dude. And they're not not stop talking. It's junk. Game's trash. That's why it's on Game Pass. Just get away. Quit talking. Holy fuck. The talking in this game is out of control. It's like high on life. Oh my god, they're doing, they're playing Moonlight Sinatra. They're fucking stupid. Great, the goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So Where is that like coming from? I want to see. Circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I can follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Whatever, dude. It's a bunch of busy work. Uh, supply room's locked. Stop talking. This is fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. <sighs> Cutscene talk. Cutscene talk. You crafting. All this typical Charles. fucking. Charles. Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> oh, man. This is like Bioshock. Thing is, Bioshock came out like fucking how many years ago? What is all this trash? Find the key. Okay. Oh my god. Find the key. What are we doing? Find the key. Okay, we're here. I don't see a key. Aha! You 
found the key. Cringe. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. Oh my Once god. I upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Petrov guy managed to hack Collective. The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your oh, assistance. Oh, man. That's why you're here. <laughs> oh, shit. Cool. Young, young game. It like it literally brings nothing new to the table. Like literally nothing though. But it doesn't need to. Gamers don't want nothing. No, no, the same old garbage. Repackaged, new coat of paint, new theme. They love it. Constant talking, constant cutscenes is crap. That's why it's on Game Pass. Imagine being a PlayStation owner and having to spend 60, 70 on this. Like, oh lord, holy shit. Thank God for Game Pass. That's why Game Pass is a necessity. You just shovel where fucking um, disposable games that are like played within. Like, this game will be dead in a week. Not even that. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. What are we doing? So where are they? Power up the elevator. Okay, how do we do that? It would be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Jeez. Power the elevator. I mean, this is... Snooze. Snooze fast game. Warzone's better than this. Oh. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Just stop you talking. Like cookies, right? Charles? Yes. Do you like cookies? Oh my god. This is a passive security. Holy system. shit, dude. I've seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. Oh lord. Uh, by putting the magnet fluxes in the correct order. Yeah, well. I can decipher it using logic. Seriously? Like I was going to stand here until it turns off on its own. Looks good to me. Uh. Huh. Try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. What? The laser beams with the lights? What does that mean? So all red then. I, I don't get it. I, I don't... So the bottom one has to be blue. Okay. Oh, this is easy. You just, um... Well... How do we get the blue down there? Oh, shit. Nothing's changing! Okay. That's what we're looking for. Boom, done. Completed. Easy. 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 Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. Quit! Oh, Lord, this is worse than higher life. It's constant dialogue. I've 
It's 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 bad. Holy shit! Shut up. Can we turn it off? I'm turning off the dialogue. I can't do it no more, dude. Dialogue volume all the way off. I don't care. I'm tired of hearing it. Streamer mode. Cringe. Streamer mode. Like, so cringe. There, we turn the fucking dialogue off. Holy shit. I mean, it's just constant talking. Wow, it is like Bioshock. Never liked Bioshock. One of the only ones. This might actually have better combat than Bioshock, but, you know, it better. It's new. Oops. It's a total snooze. Oh, can we get in this? Yikes. It's a museum game. Cool loading screen here. Oh, underwater. Oh, man. Now we're lo now. This is truly a loading screen here. It's like the vents in the Kalista Protocol. It's th look at the dialogue. I mean, it's just what is this? Oh hell no! Whatever, dude. Another 10 hour cutscene. Okay. That was literally a loading screen. Overcome vertical obstacles.
It's a snooze. Horrible uh, sound design. Some of the worst. I feel like the dialogue masks the terrible audio design. Like, it's bad. Definitely a Game Pass game. Oh, jeez. Whatever, dude. Let's jump. Oh, God. Can't wait till Sons of the Forest. I mean, at least it is something fucking different. It's the same old crap with this ship. Don't care. There's no sound design in this game. Something is not right. Oh, jeez. Time to get the pillow out. I mean, fuck. I am falling asleep playing atomic heart right now. I am falling asleep playing atomic heart right now. It's on Game Pass, yes it is. Play it on Game Pass. I had to mute the dialogue, it was so bare it was just overbearing, bro. The dialogue, the constant chatter, I mean, Jesus Lord. You can't skip the cutscenes. Yeah, it's definitely a game that should only be on Game Pass, in my opinion. If you're spending any... If you're spending 60 bucks on this on PS5, I don't know. I mean, you do you, but... Well, no, Sons of the Forest puts you right in the forest, and then you got to figure it out. It's like, well, I mean... It's challenging, but that's kind of the point. It's that that's the point. You get to survive. You don't get quests from a bunch of. Holy shit! This is junk. There's no sound design. Oh my god! Like. Like, nothing's impactful. Get this Bioshock shit out of here, dude. Cringe. Just play Bioshock. Same game. Oh. I'm turning the music off now, too. Something's not right with this game. The audio's trash. I 
I need to hear the real game, not no fucking music. There, now it's on that. Now you can actually hear, hear some stuff. Go through the door. How do we do that? Oh, now you can hear the game. Like, that music was so overbearing. Really? I mean, it's like just the most typical cookie cutter thing you could ever do. Shoot things that move the game. the ball God. There's like one enemy in this whole game. <laughs> There's one enemy, dude. Cringe. Cool puzzle. Can't wait to do this. Yeah, I think we're about done here. I uh, just it's junk. Game sucks. Yep, send these helicopters out. I mean, holy shit.
They're still talking. I had to turn that shit off. Oh, these games suck ass. Go! Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Snooze. Cool loading screen. There's no audio design to this game. Something is wrong with the audio. Like, there's just no sound in this game. There's too many quiet moments. Like, there's no sound of him even picking that up or anything. It's, it's bad. Some of the worst. Whatever, dude. I'm not fighting the helicopters again. Oh, my God. Whatever, dude. I'd literally rather play Mass Effect than Drive. I'm not even joking. Because I've never played that game. It's a brand new game to me. That's a whole. That's a big open world RPG, you know. Yeah. This is trash. Get off! Whatever, dude. Oh, jeez.
It is a snooze. Doesn't help that there's no audio in this game. I mean, holy shit. Oh, man. Cringe. I'm done. I'm really done with this game. Yep. I've already seen the whole game. No need to continue. There's really no need to continue. We've already seen the core gameplay loop and mechanics. Jump on yellow things. Oh. Perfect game pass game. But outside of that, don't play. If you don't subscribe to Game Pass just to play this, I wouldn't recommend unless you have something else to play on there. Unless it's a dollar like I did. Yeah, I think I'm done. Uh, I think I'm done with the game. Junk. I'll, I'm going to delete it. Well, I'm not going to delete it just yet, but I'm not going to play it. It's boring. No audio either. I mean, I'm out here like listening to myself talk because there's no audio in this game. Horrible. Same old shit. Same old crap. We'll be back later with a different game. That's irrelevant, but who cares? Can't play that crap. It's junk. Horrible. Game Snooze. It's on Game Snooze, right where it... Uh, that should be the exclusive platform for this Game Pass. I can't imagine being a PlayStation fan and that's the most cookie cutter game. I mean, unless it turns into a different game later, which I don't think it will. Um, that's about the most stereotypical, just cookie cutter, linear. Oh, horrible! One enemy. Not good. Oh, man. Well, that's going to do it. I'm done with that. I played enough to see that it's not good. It's snooze fest. Anyone that likes that is why the industry is in the shape that it's in. They don't clamor for anything outside of that box, outside of that space. It's just the same old slop over and over again, so... It's over! But that's why it's on Game Pass for a reason. Eagles Lair donated five pounds through Super Chat. Yeah, please, can you jump on the old Mass Effect game? That would be interesting. Um... Yeah, we'll think about it, we'll think about it. But yeah, that's gonna do it for us to now. It's a snooze. Hell yeah, brother. We appreciate that. All right, that's going to do it. Appreciate you guys for tuning in, tagging along, supporting the show, and we will catch you next time. It's over.